I've had some requests to go over this example from the homework, so I figured I'd use this as an opportunity. Now, this is uh, involving Venn diagrams, so I'm going to be using Venn diagrams for this, but let's start out with the problem. I'm going to highlight the important information I need. Okay, there's a class of 260 seniors, 93 study Spanish, 95 study chemistry, 165 study math, 18 study Spanish and chemistry, 75 study chemistry and math, and 20 study math and Spanish, and 15 study all three subjects. Now we're asked to make a Venn diagram and then calculate some probabilities. So I'm going to start out with my Venn diagram here. Now since I have three classes I'm concerned with, I've got Spanish, Chemistry, and Math, I'm going to be making three circles for this. But before I do that, I'm going to make a rectangle. I'm making the rectangle to represent basically my sample space here. This is going to re represent everybody that was involved in this. My whole population that I sampled. All these seniors. Ah, it's not a perfect rectangle, but that's good enough. So I'm going to make some circles here. Nope. Oh, it's not a circle. It's a straight line. Let's try that again. Oh, it's more of an oval. Third time's a charm, right? Oh, there we go. Cool. Make it a little smaller. Excellent. I'm going to do three of these. Copy. Paste. And I'm going to paste another one here, too. And the key here is I want an intersection of all three. I want an intersection of two. And I should be in pretty good shape here. <clears throat> so I'm going to label one Spanish. The other one will be math. And this one will be chemistry. All right, so I'm going to go with the information they give me. Now, they tell me 15 study all three subjects. So I want to find the spot within this Venn diagram where all three of these circles intersect. If you look at this spot right here, I have Spanish, math, and chemistry all intersecting here. So that's going to represent people who took all three. So I'm going to put my 15 right here. Okay. So that's off the table. Keep going. All right, I'm going to look for any that are both now. Let's see, I have 20 that study math and Spanish. So I'm going to look for the intersection of math and Spanish. And I see, okay, that should be 20. But I just thought of something here. If you study math and Spanish, you could also study all three subjects. Now, couldn't you? Absolutely, because you'd be studying math, Spanish, and chemistry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 20 minus 15 which gives me five. And now what that gives me here is this represents the 20 who study math and Spanish, and it also includes those who studied all, both math, Spanish, and chemistry, all three of them. Okay, so I'm gonna continue going here. Do we have any others? Oh, here we go. 75 study chemistry and math. Okay, so I'm gonna look for chemistry and math. All right, so the intersection of chemistry and math is going to be right here. But again, you're telling me 75. That 75 includes these 15. We're taking all three of them. So I'm going to subtract that 15, and that gives me 60. I'm going to plug in 60 right here. I've got another one off the table here. Now, the key is you have to remember... If they're only doing, if they're only studying one or they're only studying two, the word only is going to be used here. So if you don't see only, then you have to assume that it's going to be included in another group. Like the 18 here who study Spanish and chemistry. So I'm going to look for the Spanish and chemistry. And that's going to be right here at this intersection. Now they're telling me it's 18, but remember that 18 includes the 15 who take all three. So I'm going to do 18 minus 15, which gives me 3. And I've got that out of the way. All right, now I have 165 who study mathematics. Okay, so I'm going to look at mathematics here. That means within this whole circle of mathematics, I should be getting, it's 165, right? Yep, 165 should be within this entire circle here. Now the key is, I've already, I've already got people in this circle. I've got the 60 who study math and chemistry. I've got the 15 who study all three, and the five who study Spanish and math. 
So I'm going to take those away from the 165. So I'm just going to tuck this away here. 165 minus 60 minus 15 minus 5. And let's do my math quick. Let's see. I should probably be better at doing this in my head. But I'm going to use the calculator because I don't want to make any mistakes. And I highly recommend you do the same. And I got 85. Chances are some of you are saying, man, I did this in my head. Well, I didn't want to make a mistake. So I got 85 here. Okay. So that accounts for all those who took math. So I can get that off the table here. Now I have 95 who study chemistry. So I'm going to look at my chemistry circle. The chemistry circle is down here. Now remember, the chemistry circle it includes all these other people. The people who take math and chemistry, the people who take Spanish and chemistry, the people who take all three. So I'm going to go back up here, and I've got 95 who study chemistry. Okay, So that means I'm going to take 95, and I'm going to get rid of the 60 who take math and chemistry, the 15 who take all three, and the three who take Spanish and chemistry. So I'm going to plug that into my calculator. Again, some of you might be doing this in your head. I'm using a calculator. And I get 17. And that 17 represents those who take just chemistry. So add all these up, 17, 3, 15, and 60. I get the 95 that they're referring to here. Now I have 93 who study Spanish. All right, so hopefully you're catching on to what I'm going to do here. Again, I'm going to look at the whole circle. This whole circle represents those who study Spanish because it doesn't say anything about them only studying Spanish. I've got 93 who study Spanish. So I'm going to do 93. I'm going to take away the 15 who study all three, the five who study Spanish and math, and the three who study Spanish and chemistry. Doing some math here, some subtraction. Again, feel free to do it in your head if you want. I'm doing it on a calculator. And I get 70. So now I filled in all of my circles and all my space. The only thing that's missing is I have to represent the seniors who didn't take any of these. We can't forget about that. There are seniors who did not take any of these courses. Or at least we want to check to see if there are. If we get a total of 260, awesome. Then that means that we don't have any seniors who didn't take these. But we want to check. So we're going to take the 260, all the seniors we see, uh, surveyed, I'm going to take away the 70 who take just Spanish, the 5 who take Spanish and math, the 15 who take all three, and the 3 who take Spanish and chemistry. I'm also going to take away the 85 who take just math, the 60 who take math and chemistry. And notice I do not have to use the 15 and 3 again because I've already used them. They're right here, 15 and 3. Okay. And now the only value I have that I haven't used is the 17 who take just chemistry. Everything else has been accounted for. So now I'm going to plug this in. 260 minus 70 minus 5 minus 15 minus 3 minus 85 minus 60. And I get 22. That doesn't mean I did something wrong here. That means that I have 22 students who did not take any of these three subjects. So I can represent them outside. So I can put them right here. I can put them in any part of the box, really. But I'm just going to put them right there. And this represents, I'm going to put a title here, class of 260 seniors. So I'll say class of seniors. Triple Venn diagrams can be very difficult. So if you had some trouble with this problem, do not sweat it. They can be very difficult. The key is, when you're reading these problems, if you can find onlys, that's great. Chances are they're not going to give you those. But look for that intersection of all three, like I did here, and then work your way back. You'll notice what I did was I looked for, start with the 15 for all three, and then I looked at the 20 who took math and Spanish, the 75 who took chemistry and math, the 18 who took Spanish and chemistry, and then... I was able to work with the 165 who study math. If you just start at the beginning here, just going through the 93, 95, 165, it might be a bit more difficult. Chances are there might be people out there watching this saying, I did it that way and I did fine. 
that's fine. There are a number of ways you can go about doing this. I just wanted to show you my strategy. So hopefully this helps you if you're having trouble with triple Venn diagrams and you encounter them. Try this strategy and see if it helps.